Hi guys, my name is Marcel. I'm a singer and a keyboardist in a new band, and it's called Fourth Labyrinth. The house we live in is about 300 years old. There are no straight walls. Some of the ceiling looks scary, but I love it. It's all about character, isn't it? And I like the people. I found three fantastic guys, friends now, uh, that play in a band with me. It's like a family. The house is big, but somehow we managed to fill all the space with different kinds of musical equipment. And we've done all the recording progress ourselves so far. I suppose that's the way it goes nowadays. Hi, I'm here in Cambridge uh, with uh, Fourth Labyrinth. I'd like to introduce myself. Maybe you'd like to introduce yourselves. Who are you and the you play? I play the drums. <laughs> I'm Claudia, I play the bass. My name is Marcel. What do you play, Marcel? I sing, I play keys. Yeah. Okay. I'm John, I play lead guitar. All right. How would you describe Fourth Labyrinth? What would you say? How's the music? How would you describe the music? It's, it's quite difficult to describe. I, I would say it's quite eclectic in some ways. Here we, you know, you couldn't say that one song sounds exactly like the next one. Um, we have probably an element in there of some classic rock bands like Queen. has always been a big thing in my life. Uh, it wasn't always as easy as that. Uh, finding instruments, especially keyboards, was a nightmare in Eastern Germany. And I, and I was into keyboards, Hammonds, big pads, screaming analog leads. You know, no pianos at the time really, and and these kind of things were were impossible to get in Eastern Germany. How did you guys all meet then? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we knew each other from the music scene, really, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We played in another band before together. Yeah, we, we three did. Yeah. What were your influences for the songwriting, Marcel? Who do you get your main influences from, would you say? You know, I've been into music since I can remember. You know, uh, there are probably some influences there of the music my parents listened to um, in, uh, in former East Germany. Um, I'd say originally it comes from sort of Jimi Hendrix stuff. Right, music. yeah. Um, that's really where my heart lies. All over the place. Um, massive Queen fan, so it's quite nice that that comes in as the influences. When I grew, when I was growing up, I listened to a lot of heavy metal. But mm -hmm. uh, I guess since then I've branched out a bit, like everyone does. And yeah, it's terrific. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's hope we can, you know, make mm -hmm. it one thing and and meet somewhere in the middle. I, I think that's the ultimate plan. One day Have you recorded an album yet? Have you got anything? We're in the process of doing some stuff. Right. Um, so, it, yeah, yeah. Watch the space. Okay. <laughs> so you're well, playing all around Cambridge at the moment. In fact, Do you plan to go to Europe? Well, the, we're going to Wales. We're going to Wales tomorrow, in mm -hmm. fact. Wales, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Europe. Europe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes write songs just from jamming with each other. I mean, would, would, would you get your inspiration from that sometimes? We started doing that, Tom and I started doing that. Uh, in, in the end, uh, I think we try to, uh, to make the song, the song a band song. You know, once I've introduced the song to them, we're trying to make it a project 
that, more of an organic that process. That involves all of us. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It would stop the fun if. If, if you would just tell people, oh yeah, no, no, you have to play it exactly like it's like, like it was planned, mm. you know, because you can't really plan music. For people like me to carry it out. If I was to rule the world, but not for gold and not for Some music is timeless and I think, well, I hope that this kind of handmade music, it's a different thing than just programming everything with the sequencers, you know, yeah. like lots of bands do now and then you just Absolutely, yeah. copy and paste and copy and paste them. So we a lot of proper music rather than sort of machines making it. Yeah, yeah, and it's different, it's organic, it's every time you play it. Mm -hmm. You, you get something else out and you think, oh, I haven't heard that when they played it last time. And I think this is what it should be yeah, about, yeah. Yeah, rather than... Gives the music a bit more soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, think, I think you're right, yeah. But it's true We are nothing and empty case Rock of water and dust and space With words between the lines these bars are not enough With no sense if you don't read at all I think we, 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 we do what we love and it would be good if we could do what we love and wouldn't, you know, could concentrate on what, on, on what we are doing. Mm. I mean, what could be better than, 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 than uh, getting out a message, um, getting out a thought? I heard people say, oh, you know, I don't want my band to be too commercial. But what's the point in that? You, 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 can, you can go out there and reach so many people with your thoughts. You can share a thought with somebody else's. I mean, the best thing you can do when you have a problem is tell a friend. If you have thousands of friends coming to your concert and tell them about your problem, you know, I mean, it's, it's maybe it's a, a, psycho, a psychological... Don't uh, tell them about that problem. <laughs> But, but you know you know you know what I mean. So so I don't think it can ever be too commercial. We were nothing in that decays. Rock of water and dust and space. We had nothing but a choice, but that was what we had. I know.